How's it going, boys, girls, and squirrels, and welcome to yet another step on our journey through Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. Bunch of hype stuff is assumedly about to happen, uh, considering we're seemingly about to meet Ed and Al's fighting teacher, which is rad. In the last episode, they were like, maybe we should go see our old, our old combat teacher, and I said yes. Sounds like a great idea. Couldn't think of a more hype suggestion, honestly, so without any further delay, let's get into it. Rush! Yo, look at this place. Just a bunch of robo dudes being robo bros. Rush Valley. Come for the auto, stay for the males. Look, it's the most recent gods model. I never imagined I would behold such a thing with my very own eyes. Do you have to build robo parts? Like this is what I was saying before about creating money. Like what's stopping an alchemist from just making robo parts? I saw Ed turn a cobblestone street into a metal spear once. So it doesn't even need to be the same material. Like, what is the purpose of having engineers? Welcome to the holy land of auto mail. This place is bustling. <sighs> I thought Al just said, this place is bussin'. I genuinely thought that's what he just said. I was so ready to be like, this is where that term comes from? Yo, this shit is bussin'. Hey, hold on a second. I'm getting on a personal space quitting. No, no, don't, don't do that. So rude, they just want a closer look. Don't be so rude, they just stripped him in public. Two steps into the city and is already getting introduced to some Rush Valley justice. My silver watch. Gun. <laughs> it sounds like you guys had a run in with Panina. Hey, cyborg. You're the guy who ripped all his clothes off. This dude grabs Ed in broad daylight, strips him, and then goes, Sounds like you had a run in with the Rush Valley Chupacabra. Stolen pocket watch, torn clothes. Yep, that's old Choopy for you. That's like me walking up to a stranger and being like, A vampire did that! <laughs> well, you see, now I'm conflicted. Because on one hand, this girl's an absolute cutie magoo. Uh, but on the other hand, she runs like a fucking idiot. She runs like a clothespin on legs. Swing your arms, dummy! You're wearing cargo pants. Why are you running like you're holding up an invisible dress? I got you now! Oh my god! That is insane power! How has Ed ever lost a fight when he can do crazy shit like that? I guess I've only ever seen him fight in crowded cities, so like, maybe he's holding back to keep from destroying them? I just didn't expect him to hunt this girl down with the force of fucking Thanos. I'd like my watch back. That was awesome! How'd you do that, mister? I'm an alchemist! One more! These are god-tier powers Ed's pulling out right now. I didn't realize his greatest rival would be this pocket watch thief. He just changed the structure of this entire desert. Just make a new pocket watch, dude. <laughs> Quit moving around! What's the matter? Can't catch a little girl? <laughs> I've been waiting for you. Ed and Al are really on their villain arc right now. It's supposed to be terrifying from this girl's perspective. Ed just reshaped the topography of the Earth, and then when she rounds a corner, she's got this seven-foot-tall robot samurai being like, I've been waiting for you. Now, why don't you hand it over? My watch- <sighs> Come on, you can't be too surprised. You've seen the town, haven't you? Oh, never mind. Something tells me she isn't that scared. Oh, and- <laughs> My other leg's got a 1.5 inch can, and what do you think of that? This? This is my new favorite character. One of her legs is a sword, and the other one's a fucking cannon. Get this girl an eye patch, and she'll be one of the most iconic pirates in all of fiction. Oh no, don't look at me, miss. I wasn't the one who made them. I am. <laughs> You really couldn't tell Hephaestus over here was the real engineer? This dude's chin is an anvil. Oh, wait, are you telling me if my auto mail was lighter, I'd grow taller than this? It is a possibility. Whoa, brother, you're so big! You've grown so tall! Wow, okay, that's a cursed image. Keep that arm heavy. I don't want to see legward Elric joining the cast anytime soon. But are you having a baby? Hmm? Why, yes, I am. Do you think, would it be all right if I touched your tummy? <laughs> Go right ahead. No! Absolutely not! First off, why is Alphonse just on the prowl for a tummy to touch? A woman is with child. I must touch its enclosure. Second, I'm sure he's gentle. 
But just look at him. Elle is one stumble away from deflating this woman's stomach like it's a rotten pumpkin. It's like there's a miracle in your stomach. Yeah. We were inside mom's tummy like this once upon a time, too. I would be so incredibly unsettled if I was in this woman's shoes. It's like there's a miracle in your stomach. We were in mom's tummy once upon a time, too. Please, just, just get away from me. I wound up losing both my legs in the wreck. I couldn't even walk anymore, and I had nowhere to go. It felt like my entire world had come crashing down. I wonder if the voice actress was like, are we... Are we sure these lines are said over this shot of her smiling? I can try and say the lines in a happy tone, but they are not happy lines. You look like the most miserable, pathetic girl in the entire world. Nothing annoys me more than mopers like you. Let me go, you mean old man! Oh, he just fucking scooped this girl! That's like such a crazy way to treat this situation. Imagine walking down the street one day, seeing a crying little girl and just being like, Ugh, guess I have a daughter now. Just, uh... Just a wild combination of emotions to treat this situation with. It's been sealed up using alchemy. Why would he do that? I think I have a pretty good idea why. Something's in here he's too embarrassed to let anyone see! Oh, now we're talking. I used to love lockpicking my sister's diary when I was younger. I'm all for this type of gossipy nonsense. October 3rd, year 11. A date? Here. You should give this back to Ed. Oh, way to go, you dumb bitch. Feel good about yourself now? This was you. This was all you. I told you not to open it. I said it's coming! <laughs> what do we do? The doctor's not here! <laughs> Whoa, take it easy with this upskirt shot of Winry, guys. What is the implication of this shot? That Winry's birthing the mother? That's what this would mean in, like, an A24 film. You will give birth to your child? And I, in turn, will give birth to you. So, so you've seen a baby being delivered before? No, I, I haven't. But we don't have any other options here. I turned a dog into a cyborg. You think I can't suck a baby out of this broad? Are we sure your friend can handle this? Winry comes from a family of doctors. She grew up reading medical textbooks instead of picture books like most kids her age. None of that was a yes to my question. Brother. No, when it really counts, I can't do anything. Oh yeah? Is this where it really counts? People try to kill you, like, every day and you still hold your own. How often are you gonna find yourself in a situation like this? I feel like it's totally okay for you to not know how to deliver a baby. I didn't realize how angsty and mopey Ed was before I started watching this show. That's so funny. <laughs> I sure hope it's a baby. Was there a chance something other than a baby was gonna come out? Ma'am, I'm happy to introduce you to your brand new, happy, healthy, little cow. Damn it! I wanted it to be a human baby! Thankfully, this woman got lucky and pulled a five-star baby. Awesome! Awesome, awesome, awesome! <laughs> really? Awesome? That's all you can think of to describe this? Uh how else should I describe it? This is the birth of a new life. Yeah, chill out, Winry. He was pretty sufficiently enthusiastic. The woman had a baby. You guys live in a magical world. This is the least cool thing to happen yet. Do you think you could pick me up, please? Huh? <laughs> it's humiliating to be carried by a boy who's smaller than I am. Yo, drop her ass. Ed? Huh? What is it? I saw it. The engraving that's inside your pocket watch. Proud of you, Ed. Oh, uh, no, don't worry, it's nothing. I'll be right there, okay? Panina. Hmm? Hey, Abigail! Why'd you go and do that? Damn, Ed is on a war path. Dude said, I'm done with all the disrespect going on around here. Well, that's it, they're gone. They'll be back. How is Panina not joining the team? This girl is so fucking cool. When Ed gets back, Winry better hook him up with the same cannon leg that she's got. Honestly, I can't believe they introduced the fact that this girl has a cannon in her knee 
and Ed is leaving without one. Brief episode transition, if you like what you're seeing here and you want to get more content not found anywhere else, make sure you consider subscribing to my Patreon, where you get an exclusive reaction from me each month. Right now I'm reacting to Blue Lock on there, and you also get access to all of my reactions of Season 1 of Food Wars. On top of that, you also get access to my private Discord server, and access to all the live streams I've done in the past and will do in the future. You're also just helping out the page a ton and ensuring I'm able to keep putting out content as frequently as I do, both on this channel and my second channel. If you're into video games and movies and want to see more content from me, make sure you check out my second channel, Honestly Brutal. It's small, doesn't have a ton of content on there yet, but I'm super proud of the stuff that is there. The link to both my Patreon and Honestly Brutal will be in the description below, so make sure you check those out if you want more content from me. And now, on to the next one. Long time no see. Good to see you. You've grown up a little, huh? He's squishing me. Ed, just take the compliment. This guy basically just called you tall. Looks like you've grown up oh. more than a little. No one's patted my head like this since back before I lost my body. Oh my god, the cheek slits are for blushing. What are these little cheek slits in Owl's armor for? Like, the armor has eye holes. Are the slits so your opponent can see you blushing? In case the samurai's gotta pull a quick uwu on the battlefield? All of you bastards in the comments were like, um, actually, it's for superior airflow of the user. Proof! Confirmation! The slits are to a woo! They passed up on a perfect opportunity to have pink glowing out of the holes? But it's fine, I'll take my victories where I can get them. I know that wouldn't make sense, I know Al doesn't have real cheeks, but that's what the holes are for! Hello, my stupid pupil! I hear you've become one of the military's dogs! Oh my god, why does this woman look like one of the Seven Deadly Sins characters? <laughs> Teacher, you see, it's because I'm... Uh... Al? Look at you, you've gotten so big. Oh my god, why does this woman look like an absolute dime? This woman is a walking smoke show, dude. Not feeling well? What are you talking about? I'm perfectly... <laughs> this woman is a walking corpse, dude. You shouldn't exert yourself. How sweet of you to worry, dear. Thank you. Oh, never mind, there goes that fantasy. If her taste in men is that dude, there's no point in me even trying to simp. Someone you know? <laughs> He's our father. The one who ran out on you when you were little? <laughs> yeah, that's the one. No, their other father. The one who stayed and gave them proper love and encouragement. Oh, wait, sorry, I was thinking of a guy who doesn't exist. I'm glad Ed also snapped at her for asking such a stupid question. It's all because of that bastard that our mother's dead. And if it wasn't for him... Wait, I thought they said their mother died of an illness. Unless they meant she came down with a bad case of being murdered. When's he coming back, Mom? <laughs> I'm gonna <laughs> get ya! <laughs> <laughs> but seriously, when's Dad coming back? Oh, crazy! Is she the one who taught Ed how to use alchemy by clapping his hands together? Is she the one who's going to teach me how to use alchemy by clapping your hands together? Because I am still holding out for that explanation. Ah, you brats! What about your parents? Um, ma'am, these little ones don't have any parents. Who is this guy? Are you brats! What about your parents? Huh, yeah, I could answer that. These two don't have any parents. I- who are you? Just the local expositor, ma'am. I handle the town's exposition. Oops, sorry, I have to be on my way. Somebody just asked what alchemy is about three miles to the north. Huh? You two are on your own! Huh? Wow, she really made a big deal about not wanting to train them, considering she was gonna abandon them in a forest anyway. Fine, fine. I'll take up the crushing weight of caring for two young boys. Anyway, you're on your own. I'll be back in a couple of months to collect your corpses. One is all, and all is one. You have one month to figure out what that means. You'd better find the answer in the allotted time. I feel like that's just alchemy, right? Like, transformation? Like, anything can be transformed into one thing, and one thing can be transformed into anything else? Is that the answer? Because I feel like that's gotta be the answer. I'm so hungry. Metal Alchemist. 
Hey, what the fuck? He's supposed to say it twice per episode. Don't start getting lazy on me, announcer. What are we working with budget cuts or something? What the fuck is that? It's not their education I'm worried about. Their lives could be in danger out there. Also, I'd really appreciate it if you stopped trying to kill me while cooking. You've been throwing knives at my head for weeks. Was it something I said? No way! You take care of it, brother! Catching them is more my area. You always make me do the dirty work! I'm sick of cleaning up your messes, Ed! I'm done being your killer! Box cups, look. Maybe we should just switch to fish. I like how fish are less cute than rabbits, and therefore more deserving of death. It's just funny how humans have like a cuteness hierarchy scale when it comes to the animals they'll kill. Oh my god, definitely don't eat your little brother. Is this actually how Al lost his body? Like, was all that mom stuff a fake backstory and we're learning the real reason he's in a suit of armor now? Hey! What are you trying to do to me? Oh my god, he actually tried! Holy shit, he bit him so hard! Hey, let's circle back around to the fact that you just tried to fucking eat Al. Al, I'm still alive. I'm alive because I ate the ants. Something tells me Al isn't gonna get an apology for that bite. When you think about it, Al, it's actually a good thing I took a bite out of your arm because it gave me the idea to- Why are you looking at me like that? I'm not really sure about this, but do you remember when I was weak from hunger and I ate those ants? God, we get it. You ate ants. You don't have to make it your whole personality. But it's bigger than that. It's the entire world. The entire universe, even. And compared to something as big as that, Al, you and I are tiny, not even the size of ants. Compared to that, you and I are tiny, Al, not even the size of ants. Like the ones I ate. You remember that, Al? Remember when I ate those ants? Yes! All is the world. And one is me. <laughs> <laughs> Very well. <laughs> but no, seriously, what's your actual answer? Let's see. The circle denotes the circulation of power. In order to call upon and harness this power, one must draw a structural matrix over the circle. Okay. I think I'm getting my explanation. How do you do it? Tell us, teacher. Perhaps it's something you learn when you see the truth. Unhelpful, guys. Although it is pretty crazy that this woman spoke to that godchild like Ed did. So then maybe that's the key. Can only people who have spoken with that child or like been to that realm use like, like clap alchemy? <laughs> Yo. Yo! Did she try to fucking do something with her kid? I definitely got the sense that, like, newborns were a touchy subject in this household when Ed and Al were telling her about the baby they helped deliver. And that bolt of lightning just went straight through her stomach. <laughs> That's crazy! Holy shit! Yo! Whoa, ho, ho! Oh, that's crazy! That's wicked dark! I committed the taboo. As a result, I lost parts of my inner organs. What an idiot I was. Wow! That's so heavy! This show explores its world in such cool ways. I just got the theme of the show, <laughs> just now, and it's super cool. All these people have near godlike abilities. Like, alchemy is so powerful, it can do almost anything. Yet humans are still unsatisfied because it can't do everything. Like, it's not enough that Ed could change the, like, geography of the Earth with just a clap of his hands. He- it still isn't enough power for him. He still needs to bring the dead back to life. Same with this woman, and same with Shao Tucker, like, that's so cool. 
it like humanity will never be satisfied with how much power they have as long as there is more power to be gained. And that's also cool that like makes the previous episode a little better too, actually. Cause I was joking about like, you know, how over enthusiastic everybody was at the birth of this kid. And I was like, this is cheesy and this is dumb because whatever, the miracle of childbirth, I get it. But now I actually get it. Like, I like that birth, creation of life, is, like, so highly valued. Because, yeah, that's the thing, is that, like, humanity is able to change literally anything about their environment, but they can't change other humans. And that's... They're like, that's, that's their greed. Which I guess makes sense why the villains are like the seven deadly sins. Although, so far I'm only really getting greed. You know, like Ed wants to bring his mother back. But this woman was barren and so she wanted to use alchemy to have a kid. Even though like, you know, God says she shouldn't. Shao Tucker wanted to make a chimera talk or and or fuse a human with a with an animal again going against god but again kind of greed i would say i haven't really seen anyone use like lust or like wrath or whatever the others are it's been a bit since i've brushed up on my dante's inferno but yeah that's really good that what an episode what a great backstory it's okay to hurt Alright, but it's not okay to hurt me. This was fucked. I know, objectively, this is not worse than the Nina episode, but I think this needs to be in the conversation. I only ever hear about Nina when people are talking about Full Metal Alchemist. This fucks. That's cool. What a god. The world's so cool. The world's so good. Alright, anyway, I've said my spiel. I usually say it after I react to all the clips. You got it a little early. Let me know what you guys thought of this video in the comments below. Comment your favorite jokes from this video as well. It helps me make TikToks, YouTube shorts, blah, blah, blah. And yeah, man. Uh, as always, recommend what other shows you'd like to see me react to in the future. And I will see you all next time. The whole time, silly baby, won't you come a little closer when I live for now?